good morning. It is Friday for you, Thursday for me, and we are working on the videos for the day for you. Oh, my screen doesn't want to. There we go. How's that? Okay. And we're working on the videos for today for you. So we're going to start with English and English. We're on page 244. Let me share that with you. We will get started. Okay, here we go. It is page 244. You see down at the bottom, 244, it's got a dog sleeping in a dog house and starts with God made pretty flowers. Go ahead and find this page, come back to the video and we'll get started. The first thing we need to do, name and date, Date. Today's date is the twenty second for you. And this is English, so we're going to read and repeat the directions to start. And here we go. It says, draw a box around a colorful adjective that is a synonym, there's a big word, for the box adjective. Remember, a synonym is a word that means almost the same as another word. So we're looking at the one that's got the box around it. We're finding a synonym for that word. And we talked about the book that you can use is called the thesaurus. Now, I don't have a hardcover thesaurus with me. You can find them all over on the internet. And it helps you use words that mean the same thing but different colorful words that sound more interesting in the story that you read. So this sentence says, well, let's do read our choices first. Our choices are big or beautiful. And here's the question. Number seven, God made pretty flowers. There's the word pretty. If you think pretty means big, circle big. If you think pretty means beautiful, circle beautiful. Unless you do that one on your own. Erase these. Remember, you can only have one choice. You can't circle them both. Just one. Just the one that you think is the right answer. Number eight says, some flowers have funny names. And the adjective is funny. Forgot to read our choices. Does funny mean the same thing as amusing or bad? And I'm going to tell you something about this. Even if you don't know what the word amusing means, you know what the word bad means. And if this funny does not mean the same as bad, you know the choice is amusing. Okay, so sometimes you're not going to know every single word. So you're going to use the words around it or what you know about the other words to help you decide sometimes not what not to choose instead of what to choose. And then that will give you a clue as to what you do need to choose. But if you do, your choices are amusing or bad. And keep marking on my paper, I keep scribbling. Your choices are amusing or bad. And again, it says sunflowers have funny names. What is a synonym of funny? Is it amusing or bad? 
books are for musing or bad, whichever one you choose. And now let's go to nine and our choices are tiny or large. And number nine says the little ants crawled on the flower. Little is the adjective. If you think little is the same as tiny, circle tiny. If you think a little as the same is the same as large, circle large. Good job on that one. If you're not finished with seven, eight, nine, pause the video, finish it up. You know, you'd be interested to know that uh, teachers go to school as well. And I've been going to school a little bit this week since I've had some free time. And um, I have the same thing in my class. I, you know, my teacher in my class just like just like it's a video, just like what you're watching with me. And she would say, well, if you're not finished with this one, pause the video and do this. So it's the same. It's just a new, a new way of learning. So that brings us to the next part. And we've got a couple of things that tell us here. I've got a little information box that says, use this thesaurus on page 368 to 374. Well, we don't really have that option because I didn't scan that and I didn't bring that home, but that's okay. We're going to use some words that we know, right? And then I've got a Bible verse over here, Psalm 24, 1, that says, the Lord owns the earth. A good Bible verse for today. Let's read our directions. Right a colorful adjective from the thesaurus that is a synonym for the box adjective, okay? This one, I want you to think of some words on your own. Okay. God made the big world. God made the big world, okay? What's another word for big? What is another word for big? And I want you to write one on your own in here. You're going to have to use your sound out spelling. Think of another word for big, write it right in here. And now we're on number 11. God made the hot sun. Hmm. What's another word for hot? Think of if it's a summer day and you get in the car, mom picks you up from school. Oh, that would still be at the end of the year. Mom picks you up from school, it's really hot in the car. What do you say? Mom, I am, mm. What word would you use in there? That's a good word for right here. Write it down here, use your sound out spelling. And then the last one says, we saw a shiny star shiny. The word is shiny. Now, if you're not sure what the word shiny means, think about, you know, all those pretty headbands that Brianna wears, all those ones that you can see really well. That's shiny. First, it's kind of shiny in a way. So think of some other words to describe that, okay? And that word, whatever word you choose in there, it's going to go right in here. So I need you to use your sound out spelling to write that word. You need to pause this, but you probably will because that takes a little while to write all these down. Pause it and come back. This brings us to the next section. We're going to read and listen and repeat. It says, draw a box around the adjective that answers the question, what kind? So you're describing the, the underlying words. What word, what adjective does the page use to describe the noun? It says, John cut the green grass. What kind of grass? Circle the word. If you think John describes grass, circle John. If you think cut describes grass, circle cut. If you think green describes the grass, 
circle green. And number 14 says the little puppy sleeps in his house. What kind of puppy? Circle the word that tells us what kind of puppy. And that brings us to the bottom. Okay, I'm going to give you another clue here. The directions say add ER or EST to the highlighted adjective to complete the sentence. A little bit easier to see. Okay. And number 15 says, okay, remember, I'm sorry, I forgot to do this. ER is used when you're comparing to EST is used when you were comparing more than two. It says the car made a blank noise than the bike. And here's your part of it. Loud. You're comparing the car is one and the bike is two. So you're comparing two things. So you write the word loud in here. I'll give you that part. You need to tell me, do I put ER in this box or do I put EST in this box, okay? And the last one says, her, oh, let me give you your choice first. We've got the word smart here. Her dog is the smart dog in the park. The smart dog in the park, we can write smart. But we need to decide what goes on the end of it. What goes in this box? We're comparing dogs in the park. Is that more than one? Probably a dog in a park, there's probably going to be lots, even more than two. We know we're comparing more than two. What kind of ending do we put on that? Look up in your directions, write what goes in that box. Okay, good job. You did great with that today. That was quick, quick. We will be back shortly for math. Um, and we have a math game. So let me get the math game together. You will need, definitely need a piece of paper for the math game today. So you might as well go ahead and get that out. And I'll see you shortly for math.